Hey everybody, Dean Mannix and uh, pushing forward in relation to giving you strategies and ideas around how to be more effective in this COVID-19 environment. Now one of my really most important strategies for myself is the concept of winning the morning. We really need to become deliberate right here, right now, but even permanently for the rest of our lives about making sure that we set ourselves up each and every morning to have a win that causes us to be more effective throughout the rest of the day. You see, we prime our brains in the morning. If you don't want to get out of bed and hit the alarm clock four times, you're sending a message to your brain that you really don't want to go to work or do whatever else you have to do. And that priming of the brain in a negative way will make you significantly less effective. Um, if you jump straight onto Facebook in the morning and the first thing you look at is all the shock and horror and awe going on in the world, that's not really going to prime your brain for getting excited and feeling successful. So. We have to be deliberate about what we do from the moment we wake up to the moment we, I guess, start our day in terms of work or whatever else we have to do. And here's some strategies and ideas. Now, the first one is practicing gratitude. And, and I just want to explain how easy it is to do this by sharing a story that I absolutely love. And it's, it's about a mother. And I don't mean to be sexist, but the story as told to me was about a mother as opposed to a father. Um, either could be doing this. And fundamentally the mother was stressed and strained and she was working and, and every morning she had three kids and she had to get up in the morning and put their lunches together and get the kids organized and it was always a massive bun fight every morning and it was really frustrating her and upsetting her and stressing her out and she spoke to a friend about it and the friend gave her a strategy so she tried it the next day and the next day she got up 15 minutes earlier which wasn't easy but she got up 15 minutes earlier before everybody else in the house had got up and she went straight to the kitchen and she laid out the children's three lunch boxes. And as she made the lunch for each child, one at a time, she thought about that child. She thought about the food that she was making nourishing the child's body. She thought about what she loved about that child. She thought about them having a fantastic time at school. As she put the little surprise into the lunch box, she thought about the child finding that surprise. And then she moved on to the next child and the next child, approximately about five minutes per lunch. And she made those lunch boxes up. And then the morning happened as usual. The kids got up, things were crazy, everything else. But by taking that time out in the morning and just practicing gratitude around thinking about how beautiful her children were, thinking about the fact that what she was doing was actually nourishing them, it changed up her whole experience of doing a task that she had to do anyway. And so my point is when we practice gratitude, we're not changing the world around us. What we're doing is we're appreciating the world around us and we're appreciating what we do have. And I know right now it's challenging to be grateful you know, for, for a lot of things in our lives because a lot of things are at risk and a lot of things are challenging us. But I promise you, if you just practice that, what am I grateful for, what am I grateful for, what am I grateful for, and you focus your energy in that space for 10 to 15 minutes in the morning before you get going, it will make a big difference. So the bottom line is winning the morning needs to be a core strategy now more than ever. And you can win the morning but you need to put in place your strategies and commit to executing them as an absolute priority each and every morning. Dean Mannix, um, wishing you the better sales life.